the social security slip. Sean, what do people need to know about IRAs and social security? Families are wondering all the time how their social security is going to be subject to tax. So some families, some households, you might be subject to tax on your social security benefit. Other households might not. So what we want to be aware of is there's a fancy, it's super cool, provisional calculation. Here we go. It's cool. part of, it is. It's, it's a CPA in it. Not everybody <laughs> we, might enjoy it as much as I do. We're going to have Sean do a whole show okay. on this super cool provisional. Income. Okay, good. Look forward so, to it. So this provisional calculation is what determines how much of a certain household's Social Security is subject to tax. The other IRA distributions that a family or household might take from their IRAs, that's part of that calculation. So we need to be piecing together what the plan is, what the income plan is as we take IRA distributions, along with the plan for when we're going to elect Social Security, so that we know what it looks like in that first year and then all subsequent years throughout the retirement journey. Mistake number six, don't miss the Roth conversion. Yeah, at least don't miss investigating whether a Roth conversion will make sense for you based on your circumstances. The vast majority of pre-retirees have most of your retirement savings in pre-tax accounts, which means you have a huge retirement tax bill. If you think about every time you take a distribution, you're gonna be subject to ordinary income tax at whatever your income brackets are. So that's gonna be based on what kind of social security income you have coming in, uh, if you have pension income coming in, what types of other investment income do you have coming in? Are you working part-time and taking distributions? All that's gonna impact the level of tax you pay on your pre-tax monies. Part of your strategy, part of your tax plan is to look at, do Roth conversions make sense? It's where you take money from your pre-tax IRA, you shift it over to your Roth. Once it's in the Roth, you never pay taxes on the growth again, and you're not subject to required minimum distributions once you turn age 72. But in order to get the money from the pre-tax to the Roth, you have to pay taxes on it. So there's a lot of analysis that goes into how much do you convert, if you convert any, and what you do from what you what you convert this year might be substantially different than what you decide to convert next year and the following year. So there needs to be an independent analysis done every single year with Roth conversions. Yeah, and when at what age, guys, do you start looking at Roth conversions? Obviously, it's probably well before the the day they're the year they're going to retire. It can really be any time. What we hear a lot is people feel like they're too late. It's too late for their plan to do Roth conversions. And, and the answer there is it's never too late. Any year that we can be more efficient with taxes and make implement some of these planning strategies to help individuals and families, if we can help you in that year, we're going to take advantage of it. But if we can show you how that helps your tax liability throughout your retirement journey, those are opportunities that we want to be aware of and take advantage of. Okay, IRA mistake number seven is maybe taking too much investment risk. Is this inside the IRA or, or how, can we, how can we help people with this one? Yeah, inside the IRA and outside the IRA, really with your whole portfolio, we need to make sure we're taking the adequate amount of risk. One is you wanna make sure that you're taking enough risk to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish from a retirement vision standpoint, which means you need to beat taxes, you need to beat inflation, which is a challenge for a lot of people right now, and then you wanna grow it on top of that a little bit as well. So there's a minimum amount of risk you wanna take within your IRA or your overall investment portfolio. And then you also need to make sure you're not taking too much risk that when this market goes through really bad times, because we all know the market goes up and it, it's gonna come back down, that it's gonna blow up what you're trying to do from a retirement standpoint as well. So you need to make sure, and the, the number one we, mistake we see when it comes to investment risk is people usually don't know how much risk they're taking, which means when we do go through the bad times, there's oftentimes surprise as far as how much your account goes down because the amount of risk was unknown. So we do an evaluation of investment portfolios to make sure that our families understand here's how much risk you are taking, so when we go through the bad times, the expectations are aligned and it's gonna work with it, what it is you're trying to accomplish retirement-wise. Mistake number eight, not coordinating the IRA with your legacy plan. Having a legacy plan, that's one of the components of our planning process. And when we first meet families in their maybe 50s, we always say within 10 years of retirement, maybe in their 50s or 60s, oftentimes the legacy plan is maybe not one of their top concerns at that time. But we, ne we always know, we never know when the unplanned event's gonna happen. We wanna make sure that the legacy plan and how you set up your IRA that that is aligned. So we, having your beneficiaries 
correct and up to date, making sure that you know what those goals are. What are your legacy goals? What do you want to accomplish with whatever assets are left at the end of the, 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 at the, end of the day for you? It's important to have that legacy plan. It's important to have the paperwork and the IRA and everything structured so that it will help you achieve your goals as seamless as possible. Thank you for watching this clip of Retiring Today, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions about your retirement plan, take advantage of the complimentary 15-minute retirement checkup phone call.